Are you interested in this new exclusive camo and wanting to pull it on all your guns in the game? I mean, look at it. It's dark red and so beautiful and animated. I would want it, that's for sure. Or are you more interested in this polished animated cam, which also looks just so beautiful and amazing with its glossy orange look? Personally, I'm a fan of the other one, but in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys how to unlock these camos and explain the Task Force 1 for 1 vs. Shadow Company event in full. Stay tuned. So, well, what's up, guys? It's Harry here by Nino Network Quadri, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer Warzone 2 slash DMZ. In today's video, I'm going to explain the new Task Force 1 for 1 vs. Shadow Company event that you guys see here in front of you that's only going to be active for the next 11 days. This comes with a set of rewards and challenges that you got to complete uh, within these 11 days or you're gonna be missing out on some huge rewards so If you guys are excited to see how the all, all the rewards look like in this game See how to do these challenges as soon as possible and just optimize your experience here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer Make sure you guys drop a like in the video subscribe and turn on those post notifications So to start things off, uh, we do have a community challenge here that we can talk about But I'm more so going to focus on the faction challenges here first and then I'll tell you guys what uh, you know a little bit more about the community challenge and how to unlock these items that you see here. First off, uh, when it comes to choosing your side, you could do both sides, by the way. You just toggle in between them by pressing triangle or whatever your respective button is, you know, why I think on Xbox and whatever the key is on keyboard and mouse. But, uh, you know, in order, these are pretty easy to do. And give, let me give you guys my hints when it comes to these challenges. So when it comes to doing these challenges as fast as possible, I recommend doing the Shadow Company challenges first because you can easily knock them out uh, all of them out in one game or two games if you're persistent enough. So we have 50 operator kills, which we can easily do just by shipment, but we can combine that with the other operator kill events here or challenges uh, that we can do. So looking at large decal, make sure make sure you are toggled to the side that you're trying to do the challenges for. Like if I was toggled on task, task Force and I was trying to do the Shadow Company challenges, then it wouldn't count because I was toggled on Task Force. So make sure you are toggled on Shadow Company before I forget. Uh, so when it comes to the large decal of get 15 operator kills while focused with snipers, you pretty much just want to go on shipment. And I'm going to give you guys a quick class setup for a sniper that's going to help you get these focused kills. You're going to want to rock the SPX-80 here because it's the best sniper rifle in the game with the fastest ADS speed. And uh, these are the attachments that I use. I use the Elevate Barrel here, the OV Laser, the Tack Stock here, the Shalazer Match Grip Rear Grip, and the FSS ST87 Bolt. Now the tunes don't matter just because, you know, by default the attachments are goaded. But when, it, when they say focused, there is a specific, uh, you know, requirement when you have to get focused kills. Basically, when you're aiming down sights, make sure you click the button that says hold whatever or press whatever to focus. And then you'll see this animation. You won't see the pop-up anymore. You'll hear your, you know, your character breathe or whatever. And within that little time, you have to shoot and get the kill to get the focus kill. So make sure that you are focused when you get these kills. Otherwise, non-focused kills won't count. So make sure you're ADSing, focusing, and you'll get these kills done easily on shipment. For this next challenge, for the vehicle skin, we have to get 15 operator kills from behind with SMGs. And for this one, I optimized a VEL46 loadout. So when it comes to the Vel 46, I like running the X10 R40 muzzle, X10 Nexus grip barrel, or underbarrel, VLK LZR laser, 50 round magazine, and the ZLR combat grip rear grip, which is really sweet. And basically, what you want to do is just play shipment, just get lucky and like make sure you're behind enemies when you kill them, or like try to run around enemies if you can, or stun them or whatever the case is. And eventually, after some matches of shipment, you will get this challenge done. For our fourth challenge here, all we gotta do is get 10 operator kills with launchers. And basically what I do is I just rock the RPG in conjunction while I'm sniping so that once I'm done with my focus kills, I can just move on to my RPG kills. And you could do the same with the Vel 46. I just have these all in one class so I can finish the sniper challenge first, then move on to the RPG within the same class, work on them simultaneously. And you just run around on shipment, get those 10 RPG kills, and you're pretty much done, which is easy. And for our last challenge here, we get the tier skip of getting five operator kills with lethal equipment. And pretty much within that same loadout, we have the SPX-80, the RPG for those launcher kills, and we have the throwing knife. It's super easy to do. You just throw the throwing knife at your opponents on shipment, just as long as you have good accuracy, 
it'll be very easy to do and you should have it done legit at the snap of a finger, which is awesome. And once you finish the challenge, you will see a pop-up on screen that signifies that you did all the challenges for the Shadow Company and you'll actually have the mastery blueprint of the LAB330 that I'm gonna show you guys right now. So here's the LAB330 Shadow Lance blueprint that you get from doing all the challenges. And it's honestly just a very plain looking blueprint, but I mean, at least it's clean looking. It's got the all black to, you know, signify Shadow Company, and it's gonna look pretty nice with the decal that you get from the decal challenge, but it's nothing too special. At least it's a reward that you have. I just wish I had like maybe tracers or something. This is how the gun looks like in the firing range in case you guys were curious. And there is the scope in case you're curious as well. I think that's a shadowy scope or whatever that it has. That's kind of cool at least. But yeah, nothing too crazy or special. Um, it's got a dope laser though. I think that's uh, the custom laser it comes with, which is pretty nice. I'm also going to show you guys the individual rewards because I realized I should have done that already. Here's the loading screen that you get for the first challenge. Here's how the decal looks like that you get from the uh, second challenge. And it's a pretty like low leaning decal, so it's going to look a lot better on like shotguns and snipers rather than ARs and SMGs. Pretty clean though. Here's the vehicle skin that you get for the MRAP, known as the Knight's Charge from the third challenge. Here's the weapon charm that you get from the 4 for 5th challenge, and it actually glows up really nicely. Here it is in a little demonstration in case you guys are wondering, and this is a really nice looking charm, so nice decal, nice charm. Not bad rewards, honestly, for Shadow Company. And then obviously, you get the tier skip at the end. So yeah, those are all the rewards of the Shadow Company side. Now before you go over to and do the Task Force challenges, make sure that you are toggled to the Task Force 1 for 1 challenges before doing the challenges because if you do these challenges without being toggled, well then you're not gonna be doing the challenges. So let's go ahead and talk about the Task Force 1 for 1 challenges and how to get them done at the fastest rate possible. So very similarly to the Shadow Company, uh, we got 50 operator kills, which obviously we'll do in shipment, but we're gonna do the other challenges first so we can do it in conjunction. Here's the emblem that you get for getting the 50 operator kills. Really wish it was animated, but it's soap, so it's pretty dope. Uh, so when it comes to the loading screen here, we have to get 10 long shot operator kills with battle rifles. And out of all the challenges, this is the most annoying one. It's long shots. So let me give you guys the best battle rifle class setup. So we're going to go ahead and rock with the Cronin Squall and you can run it in full auto mode or semi-auto mode. I prefer full auto with this build. Uh, we got the Sakin Tread 40 muzzle, the HR 6.8 barrel, the Edge 47 grip underbarrel, the 50 round drum magazine, and the Aim Op V4 optic. Now you guys already know, shipment isn't really going to be there for long shots, so we have to play another map. And since there is the Strike 24-7 playlist right now, I would recommend Strike because it's a large enough map. You just pretty much camp down in the middle, uh, wait for enemies to kind of line up in your sights no matter what mode it is. I hate Strike, but it's pretty good for long shots. And once you get those long shots done, you can end your suffering, which is pretty nice. And here's the loading screen that you get known as Smoke Break after doing that challenge. Next up for the vehicle skin challenge, we have 40 ADS operator kills with assault rifles. So this is really easy. I'm gonna show you guys my M4 class real quick. So when it comes to the M4, I like running the FTAC Castle Comp, the X10 Nexus Grip Underbarrel, FSS OV Laser, 45 round magazine, and the Sakin ZX Rear Grip. And this is super easy. You just go into shipment and just re play as you regularly would, getting those ADS kills and making it all easy. And here's the vehicle skin that you get known as the Ghost Vapor which is actually kind of a sweet uh, vehicle skin for the cargo truck. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. I think it's kind of nice. And next up, we have the charm where you have to get three operator kills with melee weapons. This one, very similarly, I don't even have to show you guys. Just use a combat knife, go into shipment, get three kills, and you'll get it done like nothing. And here's how the weapon charm looks like. It's the TF141. And here's how it looks like in game, looking pretty sweet, but it doesn't glow like the Shadow Company one. So I think the Shadow Company one is cleaner. And for the last one here, we get the tier skip by getting a finishing move. And honestly, you can do this on any map. Just make sure somebody's camping, sneak up on them, hold melee, and you will execute that finishing move. And then once you finish the challenges, it'll let you know that you pretty much did them all. And you'll have the Bass P blueprint unlocked, which I'll show you guys right now. Here it is, it's known as the Battle Worn Bass P, and it comes with one of the most plainest designs of all time. The Shadow Company one is definitely better. Doesn't really have anything special to it. It's just all like black and brown and gray and just lacking any sort of life. But uh, yeah, it's a reward. There you go. And now that we have completed all the challenges here uh, for each faction, let's go ahead and talk about this community challenge in great detail. Well, I wouldn't say in great detail because it's kind of easy to explain. 
So this is something that the community as a whole pretty much uh, represents. Depending on what side you're affiliated with and your your the kills that you get in game, you're gonna contribute kills to either the task force side or the shadow company side. And the way you wanna decide about what side you wanna root for is based on the rewards as you guys can see on the bottom. Task force one for one comes with the soap skin, the polished camo, which I showed you guys in the beginning, and the double XP token. And the shadow company side also comes with an operator skin. I'm not sure for which operator, it might be Oz, the blood cell camo, and the battle pass XP token. And you can actually preview the camos right now, as I showed you guys uh, in the beginning. If you go all the way here to the event camos, you can see the Shadow Company uh, skin right here, known as Blood Cell. And you can also see the Task Force 1 for 1 camo, known as Polished. Now, personally, I'm going to be stacking up kills for Blood Cell because that's the one that I think it looks cleaner. But obviously, it's going to be personal preference for you. Now, when it comes down to it, the side that has the most kills is going to be getting their camo and their operator skin put in game which I think Shadow Company is personally gonna win just because the camo looks a lot better and people are gonna be more crazier about the camo. And as you guys can see from the middle there, even if, you, if you're if you choosing to affiliate yourself with Task Force 1 for 1, as long as you have done the challenges that we talked about here for Shadow Company and you've gotten more kills with Task Force 1 for 1 for whatever reason, you're still gonna get the camo rewards, which is why I, I urge you guys to still do the challenges because if you don't do the challenges for either side, then you potentially could miss out on the camo. So make sure you guys just do the challenges and then go for whatever side that you want. Either way though, you're gonna be getting the camo. Now you guys might be wondering, if one camo wins, what happens to the other camo? Are we never ever going to get it? And honestly, I find that really hard to believe because they put a lot of work into these camos it looks like, because the polished camo looks nice and animated, as well as the blood cell camo. And I think blood cell is personally gonna win. So if blood cell wins, and Polish doesn't, what is gonna happen to Polished? I think personally, they're gonna make it the season five reloaded uh, camo event. Cause you know how every reloaded update, there's a camo challenge event that happens. I think Polished is gonna be the one uh, for that or the losing camo and we'll be able to get both camos that way. That's my guess. I could be wrong still, but they put a lot of work into these camos and I wouldn't, I don't think they would want their work to be wasted. So that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this event. Hopefully this made it really easy for you guys to understand. And who are you gonna be going for? Are you gonna be going for the polished camo or are you gonna be rooting for blood cell, which I'm gonna be doing. I urge all of you guys to do blood cell as well. Cause I mean, just look at this thing, bro. Like you can't tell me, bro. They didn't snap making this camo, bro. And the fact that we get it for free as a community, all the better. Anyways, uh, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and do turn on those post notifications. I upload wars and two videos here on the channel, by the way, and store bundle videos. So if you're interested in that, or you like this type of content as well, where I'm a little bit more informative about this stuff, uh, then you're welcome to stay. But um, yeah, I will be, you know, making tons of videos here soon. We got a lot of crazy store bundles and more crazy wars and two videos to show you guys. Thanks for being the best audience ever, and I love you all.